congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, so well, obviously this is just, so I'm assuming you've only just recently found out. So just my, my first question is asking about your reaction, really. How does it feel to be a, a Biffa nominee and not just obviously in the actress category, but for the film to be in, in numerous categories? Yeah, um, I, I knew that I'd be nominated, but I didn't know just how many people had been nominated. And just watching that was just amazing because it was such a, it was such a group effort. And like, I was kept kind of, safe and happy by all the crew and everyone around me so to see it like getting such recognition across the board is just really amazing yeah yeah I mean you've been in some sort of great projects so far and played some great characters but you must have got that script through for St Maud and just gone yes because <laughs> it is one of yeah. those of characters and sort of roles that I guess you just dream of having there's so much sort of nuance and layers for you to to get your teeth stuck into yeah the script was just amazing and also um it was it was so um the way that every aspect of it was written I could see it so clearly like just Rose's stage directions and like the setting and everything which kind of for me when I read a script is really helpful because I'm not the most amazing reader and um yeah it just meant that the audition process was awful because I was like I want it so badly um but yeah, I'm just so glad that it's kind of that script that I read has turned into a film that people are really like connecting with and loving. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because it's a, it's a brilliant project, and I, I say this as a fan. But are even you kind of surprised by the reaction? I don't mean that in a sense. That obviously, I'm sure when you finished, you knew you were sitting on something quite special. But it's been taken so well, hasn't it, by critics, audiences, yeah. and now by voters? Are you? Does that even kind of surprise you, even though you're as aware of its brilliance as anyone else is? Yeah, definitely. It was it was such a like it's a small independent film with. And all of us, most of us, so Ben, Paulina, Rose, of course, Oliver, myself, it was our first kind of step into that type of world. So, no, we were all just kind of chuffed to be there and didn't really kind of look beyond the kind of five weeks that we were filming. So I really can't. It's a it's a big, big shock that it's being seen. I, when it was when it premiered in Toronto, I just couldn't believe that kind of Canadians were watching it. That was kind of mind blowing in itself. Yeah. Yeah, I, I always trust Canadians if they like something. <laughs> I always think they're, they're a good barometer. Yeah. Um, but obviously, it's not just you nominated. Rose is too. I mean, she's. I yeah. mean, as, this is an incredible film from her. You get such a sense for her voice as a as a filmmaker. How thrilled are you for her as well that she's been recognised for for her efforts? I'm really thrilled, but I'm also thrilled for kind of everyone who's going to get to work with her as well because one of the reasons that this film works is because she has such faith in everyone's abilities and such support from everyone around her because she's so talented but also so kind and so you kind of um yeah it's just I really look hope that other people get to work with her and experience that because it was so fulfilling in so many ways yeah, well, I was going to say, I hope, would you hope to work with her again one day? I was going to say, I was, so not that there'd be a sort of Saint Maud, you know, the second coming, although I mean, that, that could yeah. kind of work. But um, <laughs> but I'm assuming she's obviously a, a filmmaker you'd love to work with again. Yeah, and um, definitely I'd love to work with Rose again. And I'm also just fascinated by her mind. So kind of just, I can't wait to see what she does next, because it's going to be just like, my, my mind will probably blow like it did when I read Saint Maud. Because, um, yeah. Have you spoken Sorry. to her yet this morning or anyone yet from the St Maud's team? No, I haven't yet. So I'm really, yeah, I can't wait. Um, it's just, I just feel so chuffed that everyone's been recognised. And it's just, and also just kind of like just watching the kind of nominees, um, like montage that Biffa put together, like just so many amazing films and things. Just to kind of be part of that group is just, yeah, I can't believe it. It's really fantastic. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, I, I fancy your chances more, Finn, but I was going to say, it's, it's good competition, isn't it, this year? It's such a strong category. The, uh, I mean, but not, yeah. not just best in the actor kind of awards, but just across the board. It's but Even though, obviously, that does make it kind of stronger competition for, for St Maud, it must be so kind of encouraging to see the, 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 the strength of kind of British independent cinema at the moment. Yeah, um, and, you know, the amount of, um, people that are willing to take risks on people with an idea and 
a risk to tell stories that might not have been told before. And yeah, it's it's a really, really exciting. And I think particularly this year where stories are just like so important, it's just kind of making me reevaluate the importance of film again. Yeah. And looking forward, I mean, obviously the, the Lord of the Rings TV show, are you allowed to say yet how you fit into that? Or is that still very much under wraps? Oh no, I, I'll have a panic attack if, I'm, <laughs> if I even open my mouth about it. No, but um, it's amazing. And I'm in New Zealand, so that's amazing as well. Wish everyone was here. That's cool. Well, brilliant. Thanks so much for your time today. And better, again, you. congratulations. It's so richly deserved. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!